Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video I'm gonna give you five tips that will help you get a job as a junior developer so tip number one start a YouTube channel or a blog alright guys so it's so important you know when you are starting out and you don't have a previous commercial experience you don't have a previous job this is like your first job ever as a web developer if you have a blog or a YouTube channel, this will give you so much advantage over the other candidates that are applying for the same job that you are applying for. That's because, you know, when you are going to an interview, they are interviewing you to see if you are the right fit for the company, if you have the right personality, if you have the right skills, all these kind of things because, let's say, for example, that you are a genius, you, you work really well, you know a lot of things, but, uh, you know, like, uh, in the social way, you are not, like, too good to work in a team or something, maybe they will not take you. Or, for example, even if, if you are a, a really outgoing guy and you are really friendly and everything, but you don't have the skills, like, the coding skills, they will not take you as well. So, if you start a blog or a YouTube channel, you can actually, even before they interview you, they will see how you are as a person and what kind of knowledge do you have. And the good thing about this is, when you are doing like a YouTube channel or, or you are writing a blog, you are by yourself at home or wherever you are in your comfort zone, so you can just like write down and share your knowledge. Even, even if you think that you don't know too much, don't look at me, I don't think I know too much, and I just like to share some of these kind of tutorials, like for example a click drop uh, button with JavaScript uh, or a, a simple website like I do in here. And uh, these kind of things, they, when, whenever you are applying for a job, people they can see, you know, you can share like, I'm applying for the job, you, whenever for example you are sending out your CV, your cover letter or whatever, you can just like uh, mention these, you know, that uh, Oh, I have a YouTube channel, I have a blog where I talk about web development. First of all, this just shows that uh, you, you are really interested in this kind of area, you know, that you really like it. L look at me, for example, I have a full-time job as a, as a web developer, and whenever I get home, I'm still coding, I'm still uh, working on some projects for fun, and I'm, I'm doing these kind of tutorials as well for you guys. So th this means that I really like this, and if you guys are going to do the same, like starting a blog or a YouTube channel, this will set you apart as well from the rest of the people. And another, another thing is, for example, let's say that you are going for a, one of these whiteboard um, challenges, quizzes or whatever you want to call it that they are going to do to you. That, uh, for example, do this, this, this and that. And in the moment in there, because you are nervous or, uh, or whatever, you know, this happens all the time to people. Look, look, for example, these people who are going to American Idol or whatever. Maybe these people at home or with their friends because they feel very comfortable and whatever, they can sing really well and everything. But when they are going in front of the juries or they get nervous and they, they, don't, they don't perform well. And this, this is the same in an in interview. Uh, you, you can be like in, in the moment like they are pressuring you like you have some time to answer and maybe you know how to answer these kind of questions that they are asking you but your mind is just like blank or whatever because of all the pressure all the stress and even if you don't if you, even if you don't get these questions right but imagine that you have something very similar on your YouTube channel or on your blog like I said guys you don't need to know everything even if you know a little bit, just share it on your, uh, on your uh, blog or YouTube channel to try to teach other people. And you can tell them, for example, in this situation, imagine that you are in, a, in an interview and you don't have this question right, and then you can just say, I'm, I'm really sorry, I was just nervous, I, my mind was just like blank, but if you check my YouTube channel, my blog or whatever, where I talk about a topic like this or I did a tutorial similar to this, uh, I have the answer in there because I was I was doing it and they will see wow okay this this guy really knows it and maybe he was just like nervous or whatever so <laughs> yeah guys this this is my tip number one that will really help you get an advantage advantage over the other candidates so tip number two keep your GitHub updated 
Right, if you guys didn't start yet, like learning GitHub and uh, start up updating your code in there, you should definitely start doing it, you know, because Git, you'll probably be working in your, in your job with GitHub. Every developer uses GitHub because uh, it's just something that you can share your code with other developers, you can work together like you are you are doing some kind of code in here and you can merge it with the other developers. I'm actually gonna do some kind of tutorial on this, I've, I've been promising this for a long time. But this is important because if you keep your GitHub updated, um, you you can send this. You can send obviously your the link of your um, of your GitHub to uh, potential um, companies that you are applying for, and just tell them like, look, this is my code. They will see how you are writing down your code. I mean, imagine in my in my own company, my, not my company, the company who I work for. Imagine if my my manager is uh, is looking for a new developer, which we are all the time, or or in in other companies the same. Imagine if you want to hire another developer, they will send their CV and in there is going to be the link to, to their GitHub. We are going to check. Okay, let's see the code of this guy. If this guy is like progressing, you know, um, he can start with a really bad code, but since he's like starting to code every day for a long time, his code is starting to improve and we can see that he is uh, updating the code on GitHub uh, all the time. Um, so yeah, this, this is something that, uh, that will really help you out because whoever is going to hire you, they will check your GitHub, see if you are active, that you really want to get a job in the industry and um, if you are working on, on uh, special projects, let's say, because you, you really like web development, you know, because if you guys see, I, I know so many people out there that they are just getting into web development because they, they want to get a bit of money because web development now, the, the jobs in general, they pay quite well. Um, but there is some people getting in because they just want the money and they, they really don't like this and they don't know too much. I know a lot of people who are getting into the industry and they don't know almost nothing. Obviously, this depends on um, the requirements of each company. But uh, I know so many people out there that they are still not hired. So some of my students even, that they know a lot and they still don't, don't have a job, you know? So if you guys are keeping your GitHub updated, this will show, okay, this guy, even though he doesn't have a job, he's, he just keeps practicing, he's coding, he, he really loves this, he wants to get a job in this. So. Someone who, who will um, go for your interview, you are going for an interview with someone else, they will keep this in consideration, they will see, wow, this guy is really dedicated, we, we should give him a chance, you know, to work for us. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is my tip number two, and uh, let's go for the next tip. So, tip number three, you should learn the languages in demand on your area. <laughs> Alright guys, so this one is really important as well, because if you guys, you imagine that, uh, for example, now I, I, I live in Manchester in the UK and I want to get my first job as a web developer. And, for example, in the UK now, uh, especially in Manchester, React is really, really popular. It's getting really a lot in, uh, in demand now. So, for example, I want to get a job now as a front-end web developer and instead of learning React, that is the... the, the the language that is is um, is most in demand, not not language, the framework, the JavaScript framework, but um, I'm learning, for example, let's say uh, uh, Angular, or uh, or I'm learning Vue.js, or I'm I'm learning, uh, let's say uh, Ruby. <laughs> there's there's no point, you know. You should learn the languages. It's not just because oh, but I like Ruby so much. And another day, there was a guy. There was a guy uh, sending me on LinkedIn uh, um, a request, telling me, oh, tell me what you think about this course. I think it was about open classrooms or something like this. And they were teaching Ruby. I'm, I'm not sure. It was something like this. And then and then I asked him, but what about in your area? For example, if you live in New York, or if you live in London, or if you live in LA. Each area, each city, they will have different demands for languages. So you should just learn 
the ones that they are in, in most demand th because this will help you increase your chances of getting a job. Not, not just like, oh, but I like Ruby and I wanted to get a job as a Ruby. <laughs> Okay, you can do that, but your chances will be really smaller because the most important thing w when you are getting a job, uh, the, your first job as a web developer is getting your first job, you know. This is the most hardest thing because once you, you get your foot in the door, once you get your first job and you get this kind of commercial experience, you know, that you are working for a real company in, in, the, in the actual market, after one or two years, Basically, you can get a job in any other company because developers are in such a demand right now that, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer. And obviously, even if you are going to work, for example, let's say that I don't like React, I prefer Angular or whatever. You know, too bad, you know, I'm going to learn React because it's going to help me get a job in, in the industry outside, in a, in a company. But if I like Angular at home in my own spare time, I'm going to learn Angular and I'm going to work on my own projects. So uh, yeah, this is, this is what I advise for you guys. Alright, so tip number four. So tip number four is go to coding meetups. For sure in your area, in your city, wherever you are in the world, there will be some kind of coding meetups, you know. Uh, probably, oh, okay, even if you are in a smaller city, uh, let's say that you are in a smaller city, you will probably want to get a job as a, as a web developer in, in a bigger, larger city. Or, if you really want to stay in your area, in your city, and there is no coding meetups, you can start one. For sure, there, there will be more people in your area that they want to learn and they want to get together. You can go to, um, to a public library, you can go to a Starbucks coffee, a coffee shop, or if, if you don't have Starbucks, you can go to a coffee shop or somewhere that you can gather with some other people. You can, I don't know, start um, uh, a Facebook group for your city, you know, like for, uh, for these kind of meetups. This is if you don't have it. Because you will get together with other developers and you will see that this person knows another person and this person has a company and this person works to another company. <laughs> and it all works like this is connecting, networking with other people. Most, let's say in bigger cities, for example, here in Manchester or in London, uh, uh, New York, uh, uh, <laughs> Texas, uh, whatever most likely you will have this kind of coding meetups and you will see that in this kind of coding meetups there is a lot of developers that they already have a job and and um, these developers in there they will help you because they, they like to do this. I, 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 I did this as well in Manchester uh, for a while in a, we have a coding meetup as well now I, 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 I couldn't go for the last few months because <laughs> I'm just a bit too busy with my YouTube channel and stuff. But go to this kind of meetup because you will meet developers in there and the developers in there, they start to know you, you start to become friends with them, you will learn as well because they are there to, to help you with the other people as well. And whenever there is a, there is a kind of... Um, uh, let's say a, a, a job opportunity in their company, they will let you know because you, you, you have to remind this, you have to keep this in mind. Most of the jobs out there, they will first, they will first, if, for example now in my, um, in the company where I work for, uh, for example now there is a lot of new job opportunities for developers for another area, let's say conversion rate optimization or something, or, or this or that. Um, in first of all, they will give the opportunity like to say, do you have any friends, do you know anyone or whatever, like that you can recommend. All of the times in the companies it works like this. If someone who works in, they know someone who might be a good fit to that, uh, to that job, <laughs> these people, they can be recommended and they don't have to post these jobs in the job boards. So it's really work like this. Go to these kind of meetings, because these kind of meetups, you will meet with uh, more developers, more people who are learning, and this person knows another person who knows a company, and they might reference you to uh, some kind of job, you know. So, uh, 
yeah guys, uh, this is my tip number four and let's go for the next one. Alright guys, so tip number five, the last one, so this one is apply for jobs even if you don't have all the skill requirements that they ask. <laughs> so, I, I have done a uh, um, separate video about this topic uh, in separate and this is really like because whenever there is a job out there posted in these job boards and indeed.com, monster.com, uh, you know all these job boards that they are very popular everywhere, um, most of them, all the time, they are just like asking for ridiculous requirements. Oh, uh, this guy needs to know PHP, this guy needs to know React, this guy needs to know uh, Photoshop, this guy needs to know Git. <laughs> it's, uh, it, basically, what they are doing is they are putting all the requirements in there. And obviously, if someone is going to have all these requirements, it's better than someone who doesn't have all of them. But it's really hard, it's really hard for someone to get all of these requirements. And most of the times, let's say, in, in, in one of these job boards, they are asking, for example, oh, we need someone who knows PHP, C Sharp, Ruby, JavaScript, and in the end, you will be working with only one of those languages in the actual job. So, th this is how it works in reality. You will see, talk with developers, uh, try if you know any developers or, uh, or someone who works as a web developer, ask them this kind of questions like when they apply for a job or something. They will all, all tell you the same thing and uh, it's the same. They will put all these requirements and uh, in the reality when you are going to work in the job actually you are not going to use all of them. So even if, you don't, even if you don't have all these requirements, apply anyway. If you have been done these steps, these tips that I did, I uh, told you before, like starting your own blog, your YouTube channel, going to meetups, all of this is going to help you out, even if you don't have all these requirements. And another thing is, if you already know a language, let's say that, for example, you already know JavaScript, if you already know JavaScript well, like really well, uh, you don't need to know... Uh, React or Angular or, or anything, you can just tell them, look, I know vanilla JavaScript well because there is nothing you can do with React or Angular that you can't do with vanilla JavaScript because vanilla JavaScript is, is the mother language, you know, the other ones, they are just frameworks to make things easier to, to do. So, uh, yeah, th th this is really like what, what, I, um, what I advise you guys to just apply anyway to these kind of jobs, even if you don't feel like ready. I, in the beginning when I was applying for jobs, um, my first job ever, I was, I was not feeling um, prepared, never ready. I was like, maybe I should still learn a little bit more about this, maybe I should still learn a little bit more about that. And in the end, <laughs> you don't need, you don't, you're going to learn even more is in the actual job. When, when you're going to be there in the actual job, coding every day, building websites every day, this is when you're going <laughs> to increase your knowledge and your performance and everything. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. This was my five tips that will help you get a job as a junior developer. I hope you like this video, I hope these tips will be useful for you and I'm sure that if you will follow these kind of tips, for sure you will increase the chances for you to get a job as a web developer, your first job. And remember something guys, that if you really want to do this, if you really want to get your first job, you and you, you are doing things in the other ways and you are not getting any results, you know. There is a, there is a, um, a quote from, I think, I believe it's from uh, Albert Einstein, that is something like this. Insanity is doing, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expect different results. So, that, that's it guys. If you want different results, you need to try to do something different. Either you are starting your own YouTube channel, either you are starting your blog, Guys, you don't, even if you don't feel comfortable, oh, I don't know how to write, oh, I don't know how to shoot a video or whatever, we are all uncomfortable doing things at the beginning of anything. Look at me when I was starting my YouTube channel, it was so hard for me, but I said, come on, Telmo, you have to do it, because one day you will improve and get better. The same at coding, whenever you are starting, you are bad, and then you keep practicing, and in the end, you are better. So, just do it, you know? If you are starting now, you will be bad, but if you keep going, you will be better. 
that's it guys <laughs> i don't have anything else to say i'll see you in the next video